We can't really choose between sustainability and inclusion and growth. We need them all. When I talk to our clients about sustainable, inclusive growth, I start with growth. Growth is, is, is oxygen. It lifts all of us up. Um, it creates opportunities. Uh, it creates optimism. As the pie is growing, so to say, which is really what the growth is about, there should be more for all. But that also, you know, leads us into, a, I think, a real conversation as how is the growth uh, distributed. If we don't um, help realize economic growth, we don't thrive as a society. If we don't realize inclusion, the political systems around the world will fray. The vast majority of actions to reach any type of net zero goals have to happen this decade. There is some need and some urgency to recognize that that opportunity is now. The question is not why, why, uh, why should we do it, the question is how do we get there. Sustainable and inclusive growth is most powerful when it's a core part of the business strategy. There is a way to do sustainable and inclusive strategies that enable growth, right? That allow you to win. It's all about the full potential, but it's the end, right? How can I be a superior growth company and go to net zero? How can I keep the strengths of my culture while making it more diverse? Sustainability, inclusion, making people feel like they want to be part of an organization helps you accelerate growth. What's really exciting is that the way that companies are unlocking this new growth era uh, is through using new industry 4.0 tools. In fact, these very same technologies are also driving a step change in emissions reduction and energy efficiency. Technology data is what brings that together. They're working in an agile way. They're working in cross-functional teams. This is not a new technology innovation problem, but there is a problem from the point of view of scalability of that technology. That is the kind of challenge that, that we love. Oftentimes, the real question is, how do we upskill and take the organization with us? Because the kind of skills and capabilities that are required to achieve the full potential may be very different from what somebody has today. Not just doing things in pockets, it's how do we actually transform the enterprise. One of the things that I, I hear from leaders is how can I articulate that there's a viable roadmap to do all three, to have growth that's inclusive and sustainable? And how do I then get multiple stakeholders aligned that this journey is actually possible? It's only when you get all these interests to align, that's how you get, I think, faster and faster action on the things that I think we all care about. The magic here is this notion of a, of a system of all three things being ands and working together in concert. So this is not check the box by the side. This is integral to bring prosperity and wealth and humanity to the world. In my heart, I'm an optimist, and that optimism springs in, in just a, a fundamental belief in human ingenuity. I believe in, in the power for us to find new innovative solutions to the world's toughest problems. It's an extremely exciting place to be because I know that we can make what seems impossible possible.